Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Janders Face Dimensional Gamer, and today I'm going to be starting a series on how to create an FPS game in Game Builder Garage. It's first person setup. Um, we're gonna make it so you can move around, so you can jump, so you can fire your gun. So yeah, if you have not already, um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, I have started up a new project in Game Builder Garage, and so the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm, I want to go to Objects, Characters, and grab a Person node on. This is going to be you. Um, and so, then we're going to input Stick Movement L, and then I'm going to get an up down note on and then also from the same place the left right note on and so I'm going to hook this up to the, the left right note on to the left right core and the person note on and the up down to the forward and backwards so then um, we're going to make it so you can jump so we're going to go to input button press and then you can really do like any button you want. But um, for this, I'm going to do A to jump. So now if we go into play, we can now move the person around and jump around. So we've got our person and this is going to be our controllable character. And so now, we're going to bring out so I'm going to go to objects game screen slash camera and get a camera note on and so now um, I'm not gonna change any of the settings which <laughs> this is like glorious because usually if you're making a game like anything except for first person you're going to want to change the settings and the camera note on so much but um for this first person shooter we're going to just be able to hook this up corner to corner so now if we go into play we can see that we're kind of viewing this from the, the person's like stomach and like sometimes it'll get dark and stuff but um don't worry about this not being the head because um it, it still gets the same FPS effect. So now we need to make it so you can actually look around. And so we're going to go to input, stick movement, R, and then up, down, and left, right. Alright, so now I'm trying to keep this as neat as possible, but there are going to be a lot of note on that come into this project, so I'm not sure how neat it's going to stay. So. I'm going to connect the new stick note on to the up, down, and left, right ports. Or up, uh, up down, and vertical. Or horizontal, I mean, ports. Um, and so now, if we press play, we can, quote-unquote, look around. I mean, it has a much better effect once um, we <clears throat> go into the settings of the person note on and disable visible so now now we've got a little bit of an FPS setup pretty good so um, now we're going to change the physics if you want to I'm actually gonna increase the movement speed to like 0.7 um, I'll really have to play around with it a little bit now we've got a first person setup and so now we need to put in the shooter part. And so um, I'm going to go to objects, game screen, slash camera, first person, and then get a head node on. And so basically what this head node on does is anything that you attach to it is going to be attack is going to be fixed to the camera okay so now what we're going to do 
Um, we really need to experiment a bit with this, but um, we're going to get a box note on for now. And, an and another box note on. Alright, so now we have our two boxes and our head note on. And so in the first box, um, we want this to be under properties. We only want this to be visible for now and then movable. And then the size should be um, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and 0.8. And then the connection point should be Y plus and Y minus. Then for the second box, we want this to be, once again, only visible and movable. The connection point this time is Z minus and Z plus. And then the size is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and then 0.4. And so, then if we connect the bottom corner of the second box to the top corner of the first box, and then we connect the bottom corner of the first box uh, to the top corner of the head note on, then we press play. We should have something that kind of looks like a pistol. And so we want to make this box here um, now not visible. And then we have this box like this. And so it's looking pretty good. Um, you can kind of play around with this a little bit if you want. Um, scale it up, scale it down, do whatever you want. I'm going to leave it like it was before. For now and so um yeah now we've got a little bit of a gun now we want to start to be able to actually shoot this gun and so um, we're going to go to objects launch slash destroy slash attract and then we're going to go to launch objects and we're going to get a launch 10 objects note on and so we want to scale this down to whatever this part of the box is. And so um, then we want to make the properties of this to be only visible, solid, and movable for now. And then we also want this to be destructible. And then um, we want the we want the launch direction to be Z plus, the launch speed to be at its maximum, which is you can just type any big number in here and it'll come out as 100, or you can just type 100 like a normal person would do. The launch interval should be 0.1. That's the smallest I I believe. And so now if we connect this, oh wait, the connection point should be, um, own connection point should be Z minus and target connection point should be Z plus. So now if we connect these together, bottom corner of the launch object to the top corner of the box, then we should have the gun firing out some projectiles so now we don't want these to just go on and on and on forever and ever and ever so we want to have a bit of control over our gun because if we didn't actually shoot in the game that wouldn't really be much fun so um we want to go to input button press and then get out whatever button you want to shoot the gun. In this case, I'm going to do ZR. I'm going to scale this down a bit. And then we'll connect the if pressed port to the launch port. And then now, whenever we press ZR or the button that you chose, we will fire the gun. And so we're Mo and so when we actually make the game world, we're most likely going to get rid of the um, current floor. But just for now, to have some fun, we're going to make 
we're going to bring out a world node on from objects and it should be right there go into settings and then go into the um, destructive panel and press sphere and so now um, the projectiles that we fire will break when we when they hit the ground you can kind of hear them breaking in the distance so yeah now we have a pretty rapid firing gun and so we can we can move around we can jump this is turning into a real fps game um so yeah so let's let's do a bit of a review of what we've done we created a person that you can control with this with the left and right uh, with the left stick and the and you can jump and stuff we changed its physics then we connected a camera that you can turn and create and made it seem like you were in an fps game and then we connected the the base the screen base to the head node on and then connected our gun to that and then we gave it and then we made it so when you press ZR or whatever button you chose um, it would fire and then this little added bonus we made the world here. What we're going to do is we're going to make it so um, you have an easier time aiming. And so we're going to add a little sphere in the center of the screen to tell you when where you're going to fire. And so um, if we, so this is our base right here, right? Um, so, we want to take out a, another box node on, and then we want to make this, um, only visible and movable, and we want this to be a sphere, actually, and so then, no, we don't want this to be a sphere, <laughs> and so... <coughs> We're going to connect this to the bottom corner to the top corner of our base. And so it's not visible right now. And that's because we want to connect it. We want the own connection point to be Z minus and the target connection point to be Z plus then there should be a um, little box there now. And so we um, need to kind of play around with the scale of this. And so that's, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. So now I want to go and grab a sphere object node on, scale it down like really tiny, um, <clears throat> make it only visible and movable. I want to make the connection points. Um, we'll just leave it as it is for now. And then um, we will connect it the bottom corner to the top corner of the new box that we've made. And then there should be a sphere there now. And so then we can actually probably make this even smaller. Nope, we can't. <laughs> so, um, in this case, we'll just scale that a bit. So there we go. And then, um, so then we want to go into the settings for this, and we want to only make this movable. And so now we have that little ball there, but um, we actually want to add a texture node on, and that's going to be an object, special objects, 
and then the texture node on. And then we want to scale this down to exactly the size of this sphere. And so then we want to go into the settings. And then I'm just going to try and find some sort of guide. Just and um and so I'm going to go with a ball surface and I'm going to follow the um, plus line here all right so now I've got this plus in and so I'm going to connect this up I'm going to go into the properties of the sphere and make this only movable and then we should have a good aiming thing and if you want you can go just make this a box and then make this only this and then go to the texture face and only make this z center there we go we've got um a good aiming system this is actually <laughs> really accurate um, it's pretty accurate. So, yeah, that's the end of part one of my tutorial. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.